guys. So, I'm in the car. The Ratmobile. Waiting for the missus. She's all... It's your wife always take forever to get ready. Mine's a flipping nightmare. Anyhow, it's Friday. Sorry, the heat is trying to warm the car up because it's bloody freezing in it. Anyhow, it's Friday. The... I don't know what day it is. It must be about 10 for 11 or something like that. Um, I've got half day off work because we're going to look for a motorhome or a campervan. So this is Operation Motorhome Campervan for the gas guy. The plan is to get a motorhome. I've always wanted one, so we're going to get one. I'm 52 years old, I've saved a few quid and I can have a bit of finance if I want. Um, maybe, maybe not, because I don't have any loans or anything. So I'm not sure yet. I don't know whether to go for a five or six grand one, a 10 grand one, a 15 grand one, a 20 grand one. I think the max would be 30 with putting a chunk of cash down and then financing the rest. But I don't know what to do. I don't know. And the idea is the gas guy is going to hit the road. You see loads of people doing it. I'm going to hit the road, but I'm going to head for Turkey. <laughs> I love Turkey. It's about 36 to 40... Well, it's 36 hours if you drive it constantly with your ferry from uh, Calais, uh, Dover to Calais. I reckon, I reckon it'd take me about four days to get to Turkey, but then I reckon it's about five or six down to Hisaranu. So if I spent five days getting down there, spend ten days there, five days coming back, that's three weeks out on the road... I reckon that'd be banging. And maybe on the way back, stop in France, Belgium. I think you go through Germany, I'm not sure. Can't remember. It might be Bosnia. I don't know. Anyhow, there's lots of red tape and stuff like that, but it's it's something I'm planning to do. One, to generate footage for you guys so you can see what we're up to. Two, because I need a motorhome in my life. People will be like, oh, what are you doing that for? Why would you why would you possibly need a motorhome? Why not? Why not? I want one. I can jump in it and clear off whenever I like. Anyhow, watch this space. The missus is putting a slap on. She'll be here in a minute. And then she'll take the camera and I'll show you a few bits of the scenery as we go. First of all, we're going over to Chop's Garage. So we're going to YouTube a YouTuber um, to see what cars he's got because this car... Believe it or not, a rat has chewed it. I'll show you some footage of it. A rat has chewed it and the electrics are playing up terribly. And the insurance are thinking about writing it off so we're going to have a look just in case the reason they're going to write it off is because a wiring loom on a car to change a whole wiring loom on a car is probably 1500 quid for a wiring loom and then well i don't know let's say they're 50 pound an hour mechanic wise because they've got to take everything out all the dash has to come out it's probably three grand's worth of work well the car's only worth five and a half so it's over a quarter or I think it's a quarter, correct me if I'm wrong. Some say it's a quarter, some say it's 50%. If it's over 50%, then it's a write-off. If it's over a quarter, it's a write-off. So we'll be looking for a new car. So we're going to go have a look. Right, stay tuned. You can be on it. Operation Motorhome. Here we go. And new car. Uh, and new car. Operation Motorhome and new car. Yeah, but I'm not. This video is not about your car. It's about the motorhome. It is. It's all about, about me. All about you, right? Video it's always that about way. me. I don't want to show people where we are. Where we're yeah, going. Yeah, they don't really want to look at your ugly mug all day, do they? That's not very I could good. understand that as well. Okay. There you go. So that's where we're going. We're we're in the countryside and we're heading towards. We're actually heading to Chops Garage. We're YouTubing a YouTuber, didn't we? To get Sadie a new car. That's the first stop. And then we're going to carry is, on. And this is where we live, literally in the middle of nowhere. Well, we don't live here, do we? We live back there. Well, if you pay your cards right, you can end up in that field in a tent. Not a tent. A camper yeah. van. No, a tent. So you're kicking me out now? Well, 
You see what I have to put up with? All this shit, all the time. This is what happened. That's why I'm getting a camper van, guys, so I've got somewhere to stay. Because I'm an abused husband. Get a full bed to stuff, is you? Yeah, I will get, I'll get a full bed, better. yeah. I will get a full bed. Right, so this is us just pulling up now to Chop's garage. Um, we point it and... Right, here we are. Turn it around then, show where we are. Give you the highlight. This is us pulling up to Chop's garage to see what vehicles he's got for sale. He's got a yellow Peugeot, which has got your name on it. There he is, there, look. That's a bollocks. I'm trying to think. Get out of here! Get, what do you mean, get out of here? Your best customers. Your best customers just arrived. Parking over there, next to the new vehicle. Look, because that's what I want. Although he said I can't, <laughs> he's told me I can't afford it. He said I can afford that one in the corner, but not that one. We're at Chops, and he says, right? he said I've got the perfect car for you and the number plate. Look, Schleck. She's not. You're not keen on that, no. We're YouTubing a YouTuber. Check out all my tenants on my uh, So I found a car, guys, yeah, to go with the house that I just bought on the way here. You know that small detached house called Rose Hill or whatever it is? The big Mansion. manor house, what's it called? Oh, okay. Rose Hill Gardens, that big oh, house. Yeah. I've told these I've won the lottery and I've bought that house on the way here. So to go with that, we'll have this as well. You can have this little one, Sade, yeah, and I'll have the Maserati. Well. So, yeah, just buy the three, yeah? Yeah, just the three. And you've got a discovery out there for the farmland? Yeah, we'll do your bulk deal, yeah. The country gentry package, that's what it is. It's the gentry package. See how he rolls, look. He just <laughs> got the sale straight in. <laughs> look at these monsters. 80,000 quid, 65,000 quid, 68,000 quid. I think these are slightly out of our price range, love. Yeah, just a bit. Don't you? These must be all brand new, though, aren't they? You have to sell your body to get one. I mean, look these. at them. I'd sell my body for that, yeah. How nice yeah, are they, though? You have to sell your organs. Look, £74,000. It's a Ford Transit. Look at that. Dog's bollocks, though, I bet you. Look, she's on crutches today. That's what happens if you don't do the washing up. You'll be back on them next week if you carry on like that. Anyhow. I think we could turn the camera off here because we ain't buying one of these ones. Let's go and look at the cheap shit things for a thousand <laughs> quid. These are gorgeous, aren't they? Wow. <laughs>